In this lesson, we're going to learn about Gay-Lussac's law. Gay-Lussac's law says that gas pressure is directly proportional to gas temperature when volume is held constant. The equation is P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. When pressure increases, temperature increases. When pressure decreases, temperature decreases. As you increase the pressure of a gas, its temperature also increases. As you increase the temperature of a gas, its pressure also increases. The reverse is also true. Here's a plot of pressure versus temperature illustrating Gay-Lussac's law. Pressure and temperature are directly related. As pressure goes up, so does temperature. Sample problem. A cylinder contains a gas with a pressure of 125 kilopascals at a temperature of 200 Kelvin. Find the temperature of the gas which has a pressure of 100 kilopascals. So we want to find the, the temperature of a gas at 100 kilopascals. Let's call that T2. We're given P1, the initial pressure, 125 kilopascals, and T1 at a temperature of 200 Kelvin. Then we're going to change the pressure to 100 kilopascals, so that's going to be P2. Notice the P2 can be a smaller P or a larger P. I just ordered them as I got to them in the problem. And sometimes you really have to pay attention to the wording of the problem because you can't just write down your variables in order. You have to read the context of the problem. In this problem, they talked about a gas with a pressure of 125 kilopascals. I let that equal P1 at a temperature of 200 Kelvin. That's the same situation as that, as that pressure, so I let that equal T1. And then they want to find the pressure of the gas, which has a pressure of. So we're talking about a new pressure, so we're looking for a new temperature. Our equation is P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. We want to find T2, so we need to get that out of the denominator. Let's do that by cross-multiplying. P1 times T2 is equal to T1 times P2. Then, to solve for T2, I divide each side by P1. The P1s on the left-hand side cancel out. So now my equation is T2 is equal to T1 P2 over P1. T1 is 200 Kelvin. P2 is 100 kilopascals all over P1, which is 125 kilopascals. The units kilopascals cancels out, and we have a new temperature of 160 Kelvin. Sample problem number two. A container designed to hold a pressure of 2.5 atmospheres is filled with 20.0 milliliters of air at room temperature 20 degrees Celsius and standard pressure 1 atmosphere. Will it be safe to throw this container into a fire where temperatures of 600 degrees Celsius will be reached? It doesn't really tell us what it's asking for. It's asking us, will it be safe? So we have to figure out what that means. Will what be safe? We have a container designed to hold a pressure of 2.5 atmospheres. We have it filled up with air at one atmosphere. So we want to know, is the final pressure going to be less than or greater than 2.5 atmospheres? So really, we're looking for final pressure. We're given an initial pressure of one atmosphere, and we're given a volume of 20 milliliters and a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius and a final temperature of 600 degrees Celsius. What's interesting here is the volume. We, ha we don't have volume in Gay-Lussac's law, and it's actually, it's sort of a red herring here um, because it's not part of this problem. What you have to realize about any canister is that the volume's not going to change. We're, we're looking at a system at constant volume. So it's just th it's put here to sort of throw us off a little, and you have to notice that. So that's not really one of our givens that we're going to concern ourselves with. First off, we're going to need to convert these temperatures to Kelvin because we can only use Kelvin in gas law problems. So we have a T1 of 20 degrees Celsius and a T2 of 600 degrees Celsius. To solve for Kelvin, we add 273.15 and T1 becomes 293.15 and 600 degrees Celsius plus 273.15 becomes 873.15 Kelvin. Our equation is P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. Since we're solving for P2, to isolate the variable, we'll multiply each side by T2, and the T2s on the right-hand side cancel out. So our equation becomes P2 is equal to P1 T2 over T1. P1 is 1 atmosphere. T2 is 873.15 Kelvin, all over T1, which is 293.15 Kelvin. The unit Kelvin cancels out. 
and so our P2 is 3 atmosphere. Since 3 atmosphere is greater than 2.5 atmosphere, what the can, the canister can withstand, the um, canister will explode at 3 atmospheres, and so this would not be safe. I hope you enjoyed this video. To get more chemistry videos and practice problems, help from our online chemistry community and the chemistry question of the day delivered to your inbox, sign up at chemin10.com. Membership is free and we'd love to have you. This is Melanie Fine of Chemin 10.